Welcome to Jeremax War. This is Bob the Love Fudge, and I'm Blade Blade Blade. That I am, and that you are, and this is the World Heavyweight Champion, the new World Heavyweight Champion, LMRL McDaniel. When the heck did he become World Champion? He became World Champion at Black Hole, in case you missed it like Blade did, ending the 404 day reign of Pac Man Jones. Whoa! 444? 404. That is ridiculous! That's, that's just ridiculous, right? Lamorel talking about how he's come from so, so little. How he was mocked. And now he's here, the World Heavyweight Champion, please. Is he still a waste of your time? A little. A little? Come on! He is a waste of time! He's making a point. He 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 is living proof that you can succeed if you want. Okay, I will succeed. Let's see, that's good. Three, two, oh wait a minute. What? It's the former world champion, Pac-Man oh, Jones. Pac-Man Jones. Oh, this is gonna get interesting. Oh yeah, it is. And it's so weird seeing Pac-Man without the world championship. And the fact that he has a 33 on his chest. It's true. That is kind of weird. That wasn't his number. <laughs> Wait a minute. Good sportsmanship shown by the former world champion. He is nice. And he stinks. Oh, you always gotta be mean to somebody. Yeah! Not. Oh, oh! Oh! Whoa, Whoa no! man! A world title! Yeah! World title match? On the 50th episode! Is it that next episode? That is! The big 50th episode's gonna be streamed, too! God! That is ridiculous. That's huge! Lamorel and Pac-Man one-on-one, King Icorn not gonna be a factor for the world Do you championship. you think he's ready? Do you think he's ready? I think he's ready. Anyways, this is a commercial. There's no commercial. Yeah, there is! We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Oh, and here we have a rematch. Speaking of title rematches, Dorf Ligleton not wasting any time to try and get the European Championship back from the Dark Horse Steven Santos. Let's uh, go! I know how you're a big fan of Dorf. And I he, he keeps saying how he's so European. He is he, European! Okay, let's point out the fact that he's no longer the European champion. He is not even a hint of European. What? He's not the European champion. What? You gotta pay attention to these shows, Blee. I know I have you in that cardboard box all the time, but I'm sure there's a TV in there somewhere. There's not! All you gave me is a life supply of food and drinks and a computer. Well, that computer, you can watch this man, the Dark Horse, Steven Santos, the Boo! new... Boo! I kicked your butt once. And yet he, he, like Lamorell, has come back from such low, low point in his career in Dorf Hey, hey, I'm nine. I'm nine, and I beat him. You beat him when you were eight, and he's come back from that, and I'm glad he has, as a former ally. Hey, 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 when you were a girl... I, it's kind of love-hate with him, but I am proud that he managed to beat Dorf at Black Hole. Oh, and a headbutt to the groin. Nice one. Oh, bleep blatant with his uh, bias towards Shut up. Dorf Legleton. I Dorf Legleton. Is epic. And so European. Former two-time world champion, former European champion. Oh. Going to the top rope. Boo! Yeah, no! Nice knees to the gut. By knee Steven to the Santos. Gut. No more, more like knee to the butt. He didn't knee him in the butt at all. Oh, nice move there. He from didn't the... knee him anywhere. But he did get out of that moonsault. Dorf Legleton in trouble now as the Dark Horse, the European champion with a fire no. carry. No, no. Oh, look at this, Dorf. This is an epic match. I'm surprised. I'm actually into this. Which is great considering you said Dorf was a waste of your time back at the King of Heavens. Although He's not. Now you're a big Dorf fan. Because it's your pen. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, nice reversal. Oh, How no. About come on. Just get, just come on, Legleton. Play cheerleading for Dorf Legleton who goes off the ropes. Oh, nice drop kick. And 
now Dorf going for a cover! One! What? No! Ugh. Come on! You can do better than that! Off the ropes! Why don't you be a manager if you're gonna be so biased? Ugh. Oh god, I would I would not want you to manage anybody off the ropes. Why don't you want me to be a manager? Oh nice! If I was the manager of Warp, what would you say? A general manager? This really your manager. Oh, kick I mean, me. if I was the general manager. I would go to Vortex and I would never look back. What if I was the general manager of both those shows? Well, then you'd be Frollo. <laughs> Scoop slam from the Dark Horse who is about to end it. No! Not. Why don't you try to, why don't you say something nice about, oh, there he is, the Defcon 1, the former Spiderplex, this could be it. Could be well, saying, I don't like you, I like you. Why don't you say something nice about Steven Santos so you're not as biased? I love Sprite! Well, he's not Sprite anymore. I love... This is it! Random words! Oh, and then a, oh man, right on his neck! Setting him up for the hangman's DDT, but wait a minute, Dwarf kiting back or not? You stank, Save instead, Toast! You stank! He can't hear you! Oh, nice! Yes, he can! Is that a, a chop there? Dwarf's slowing it up. No! Wait a minute! No, no! Pump handle slam! I swear, or a pump I'm handle drop! If, 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 if Littleton loses, I am just going in there and slapping Stevens. Oh, nice! He holds onto the ropes. Dorf was going for something there. Scoop slam! I swear, if he, if Dorf Littleton loses, I'm going in there and I'm slapping Steven, St Steven Santos in the face. Alright. Whatever. Oh man, what a lariat from out of no, nowhere! No, 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 no! Why don't you just call some moves instead of yelling no? No! Obviously, your no's indicate that Steven Santos is about to put no. this one away. No! Ah, no! No! Can you say anything else? <laughs> no! Santos now? No! Wait a minute, no! Reversal! Yes! Yes! Woo! Now, oh, wait a minute, from behind! No! Well, you're very... Your commentary has become yes. very simple! Come on! Come on, do it, play! Oh! Yeah! In your face, Santos! In your face! You're being title on the line! The champ is in trouble here! Yeah, he is! Nice. Uh, yes! On a Slopex! It's Slopex, you dummy! Come on. Dwarf Legleton, wait a minute! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, get low kick! And I can't. Oh, but Santos getting up. I'm not sure if that's the smartest move. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Another one! Yeah! Can't a low kick! And in his first title defense, this could be it! One! Two, three! It's over! Yes! Yes! He's more European than anyone I know! Dorf Legleton has retained! Regained, actually! The European title already! He's more European than you! That young knockout kid! Steven Santos! He's European! He, he won the title and it's already gone! And now we're backstage with the king in his court, oh god. All hail the king! Icor looking for some advice. All hail the king! That's right, Icorn in the main event against Aladdin the Sun thanks to what happened at Black Hole. What is this? Spitfire? Michael Cole suggesting maybe Icorn spits water at Aladdin. I'm not sure that'll work. It might! What's Frankie have to say? Watch out for the DDT! Oh! Very nice advice from Frankie! <laughs> Daddy Taxes Mansion! Obviously, uh, Icorn is gonna use that advice to help him out and against Aladdin here tonight. You do realize that Frankie, I... Frankie's really good when, he, when, when he's giving advice. That's why he's part of King Icorn's Unwind Kingdom. We'll be right back. There's no commercial! Yes, there is! Oh, here we go. This is the first of four qualifying matches for a 
number one contenders four way at Ooh. Pulse races, who the heck is that? This is Jason Narvi, the former skull. Is he? He does not laugh. Yes! Alright, last, uh, last ooze, there was a four-way number one contenders match that Pac-Man Jones won. We're gonna have another one of this ooze, and we're gonna find out all four people in that match here tonight. The first match, Bulk will be taking on his former friend, Jason Norby, but I think we're gonna hear from Bulk first. Heck yeah, we are. Heck yeah, we are. Okay, who, who cares? Am I right? What is he talking about? Bulk. Addressing Good. the fact that Jason Narvey called him out for being childish. Bulk's ready to get back on that singles run that he was on early last season. We're gonna see if he can, uh... Back that momentum he lost at Black Hole. And to do that, he's gonna have to defeat this man, his former partner, his former friend for years, Jason Narvey. Bulk is fat. Bulk is fat, and he can use that to his advantage. I'm I don't think I've seen Skull and Singles action ever, other than that. Beat Time it, where he got beat up Hogan. by Hogan, but here we go. Wait, Hogan? I haven't seen him for a while. Oh, that's because he's dead, Blee. Nice suplex. What? You were in the hospital at Jeremania. You missed a lot. He died. Wait a minute. From behind goes Bulk and a nice running Bulldog. Or should I say Bulk Dog? <laughs> oh, like they found that off. Off the ropes goes Narvi, but no. Bulk using that weight that fat Blee mentioned earlier to his advantage. He's not just fat. He's a fatty McFat. Oh, a nice Samoan drop. Or he's should I say Samo Bulk drop? His nickname is going to be Fatty McFat. McFatface. Jason Narvey now going for a neck breaker and he hits it. It's odd seeing him wrestle and not hearing a laugh. Come on, no! Oh, and a pile driver. Stupid fatty. You you make fun of him for being fat, but Bulk can go with the best of him. He can use his weight to I his I told advantage. you, it's, he's not Bulk. His nickname is Fatty McFatface. Fatty McFatface is in control. No, he's not. Oh, look at the strength of Jason Narvey. Fatty. He's just not smart. He is... Oh, and a low blow from Bulk. Ugh. The ropes. And what's this, Blade? Boom! What do you call that move? Uh, the twist. Okay, the that's twister. the twister. The I believe that was a tilt -a whirl Oh, and a pile driver on the did, neck of Did Bulk. he say tilt -a whirl Yes. Now you make me want to go to Canada Lake like Park. Nobody knows what you're talking about, Blake. Neither do I. <laughs> At least you admit it. And I know, obviously, Jason Narvey working in targeting the neck of Bulk. All that weight. Oh, wait a minute. That Slash my fatty with fat face. A scoop slam from Bulk. And, oh, reverse. Oh. Oh, there's that running Bulk dog. <laughs> this is a kick again. It's still funny. Jason Narvey off the ropes. Oh, nice move there. Yeah, yo. Using his speed to his advantage. Well, now that he's not Skull. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, right no. in his. No. Why is he running to nothing? Off the ropes. Oh, Balks. Or, I'm sorry. Balks. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, and a powerbomb. And down. No. Oh, I saw his foot under the rope. Me too. These refs are so damn inconsistent. I can't even see them in the ring. Now wait, Bolt going, or Skull from behind. Wait a minute. Oh, a laugh riot. That's got to be it. One, two, three. And Professor Dr. Jason Narvey. Beat that in fat. With his face. brains and his bronze and his speed has qualified. Now let's get a replay of him pulling fatty face. Jason Narvey is heading to ooze in that number one contenders match. He is two wins away from being a world champion. I don't believe it. Bulk was in control early on, but... Or I'm not Skull. Jason Narvey. Let's hear from him. Yeah, he is. Cocky words from Narvey, but he backed it up. 
It's Sounds like Narvi. Ooze. ooze is our next CPV. What? You? Sure. You do you know? Do you not know anything that goes on anymore? Hi. You hey, don't know the most basic concepts. We haven't, we haven't been here for about two months. I don't know what show you're watching, but we've been here plenty of times, and we're gonna stay with you for the next three parts. Okay. Of this. this is a commercial. This is an actual break. In McDonald's. We're not going to McDonald's, but we are going to YouTube, so stay tuned. Heck yeah. Kinda want some McDonald's now. I'll be right back. You sign out.